Hi everybody, it's Laura. How are you today? It has been, you don't realize this yet because I keep posting videos because I do them. I kind of save them and post them in the future. It's been a while since I painted, like about a week and a half. So um, what I wanted to do today is a, um, a Dutch pour. I've already gotten muck here. So I'm having terrible luck today. I'm just going to let you know that. Um, nothing is working for me. I was going to do a Dutch pour with my Bloom Consistency paints. It didn't work. They're thick. And I thought, oh, I don't need to test them. I'll just go for it. And it didn't work twice. <laughs> so I have kind of, I don't want to waste this paint that's already on here. So we're going with a kind of um, swirly look. You can see it's not pure white, but we'll see what happens. So I'm going to put down my colors in my Dutch pour consistency paints. I haven't used these in a very long time. I hope that I have enough. I don't know how these are going to spread over this thicker base. This is me just experimenting since everything has fallen apart today. I'm trying to do something with that base coat there instead of just wasting it. So we'll see what we get. I love this color combination. I might just end up doing a bloom and calling it a day because I know that'll work for me. But we'll see. All right. Here we go. Let's try and blow this baby out. And if it doesn't work, then I give up for the day. some possibilities. Not the greatest, but not ugly either. Not really your true Dutch pour either. But let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can salvage this somehow. What I do know is that I need to quit painting today and quit right after I'm done here. But this could be interesting. So that background was my um, PPG Multi Pro, a thicker paint with these thinner Dutch colors on top of it. And I actually kind of really like 
the shapes we're getting here. Um, well, I don't want to say shapes. The wispiness. It's very, they are very thin and fluid. Like, uh, unlike a Dutch pour, but kind of, kind of stringy almost. And it's a really neat kind of look. This could end up being a happy little accident. Uh, definitely a happy little accident. look yeah I kind of really like how this turned out we've got cells obviously we've got a lot of little thin I don't oh there's a hair let's get rid of that I don't like that there. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm just gonna get rid of that. This is a happy little accident. Thicker base with thinner colors gives you this and it's a totally different um shape pattern whatever you want to call it to um to what we're blowing out so it doesn't look like a dutch port looks like something totally different but i like it so I'm just going to get my edges touched up here. And if you goof up on a Dutch pour, I like this background that's kind of swirly and textured. And that was me being cheap, not wanting to waste the paint. But this is really sharp. So, do I want to do anything else to it? I'm just going to soften up some things. I really don't like, I don't know, do I like that? I love the color combination. This is really cute. I do not like that. And I think, oh, this, this is pretty. I like it. I think I'm going to spin it just a little bit. Oh, but I better get rid of all this paint sitting there. <laughs> or we're going to be swimming in paint. I do like that swirly background. It's really sharp instead of just that solid, you know, white or black or any other color. 
This is what happens when you don't paint in a while. You lose your mojo. <laughs> I lost it, that's for sure. And just goes to show, well, you know it. Everybody has a bad day every now and then. It happens to everybody. But you can usually do something to save just about everything. If you play with it enough. All right, that's good. Now I can spin. This, this almost reminds me of a cloud. Oh, yeah. The background looks like swirling clouds. Got a lot of paint on here. I don't know what I was thinking when I poured that base. Poured way too much. But this is really appealing to me. I might do this on purpose in the future. Yeah, I like it. Let's spin again. Don't you love those days when everything goes wrong? Oh, wow. This is pretty. So I still have paint moving. I'm going to spin again because we got to get that paint off of there so it doesn't crack <clears throat> when it dries. Not at all what I thought I was going to do. Really a pretty pastel look, though, isn't it? So you want, you always want a darker color to contrast against the lighter color. That blue in there contrasting against the, the lighter blue is just beautiful. All right, I got to get it over this way. I have a ridge here. Let's just help that just a little bit. Now I know you don't normally spin in a Dutch pour, but this is not a Dutch pour. This was the consistency of a bloom, the base. So we kind of have to help it just a little bit. All right, one more spin, I think. Let's see what we got. There we go. I'm going to touch up my corner. That corner's fine. That corner's fine. I would say we're done. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, that was a happy little accident, which I'm about to screw up. <laughs> Let's get some of this.
I really don't like that thing at all. But if I try to get rid of that, what's going to happen? Let's find out. That's not bad. Oh, yeah, that's better. Yeah, I didn't like that. Kind of didn't like that either. No, I like that. All right, one more spin. How different. So you never think of mixing consistencies, purposely using two different consistencies, but I did today just to try and save this and see what I could do. And I actually like the result. So again, that is the thicker PPG multi-pro base with thinner Dutch pour consistency paints on top of it. And you get a totally different blowout look. So I really like this. I'm going to take it down and show you what we got here. Let's turn on the flash. So you can see it's very thin and wispy. Let's see where I can here. Up here. See how thin that is? It's not like your regular Dutch pour, the blowout is, is, I don't even know how to describe it. It's stringy, sort of. I probably did something amazingly bad here. That's like <laughs> a, uh, an epic fail in a normal painting. Why it's stringy, I don't know. We're going to see how this dries. I will put a picture of the dry result and the wet result in the video. But I really like this right here. Look at how... And I did this with no flow, um, no cell activator. So really kind of pretty. And I like that textured background. So, if you found this interesting, give me a thumbs up on the video. Please um, subscribe to my channel. I would appreciate it. And I will see you next time. Oh, and I have some exciting stuff on the way. We're going to be going into resin molds and um, other things. So, keep an eye out. We're going in a different direction. A new direction, I should say. Okay, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.